That looks insane. What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another game case arcades video. And Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, if you haven't been following me on Instagram, be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. I'll be honest, that's my main account. That's my personal account. You'll see all my videos, all the stories. Those are, that's where I keep it up to date. My at Game Case Arcades one is just to show people like the builds and all that. The Vic VP is my personal one, so you see like my personal life. And, but most of you'll see a lot of videos like on the stories, but enough of that. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have the Shinku Hadouken 40 terabyte. PC fully installed on this bar top. <laughs> I, I got a little scared, I can't lie, I got a little worried because as I was building it, I was like, oh man, I'm running out of space. This thing is maxed out, literally maxed out to the T. Let's get out of selfie mode, let's take a closer look. So basically what I do in this video is that I'm gonna show you the end product first because that's what honestly what people wanna see. And then after the end product, you will basically see the build to it. Uh, be sure, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but basically on your timeline, you should actually see the seconds and it, it's all labeled out with the titles. I'm making all my videos nice and neat. And I'm almost at a thousand subscribers and I have a big surprise to show you guys, a new little build uh, possibly be available for download. But right now we're focusing on the Shinku Hadouken 40 terabyte. So this right here, the only thing I'm missing on this is honestly T-molding and the marquee up top. That's later, but again, right now the computer's booted. I wanted to show you guys. And the boot time on this is ridiculous. But again, right now we're gonna show you the final product. Um, this is the rear of the cabinet. This is everything inside of it. Let's start on the left with the door. The door here, you see that there's five fans. Uh, Eugene bought five fans. I was able to utilize all five fans. Check out the back end of this using a four inch circle bit looks great he also has the screen mesh so i'll put that on it but just to kind of understand what's going on here i don't know if you could notice it but these two right here are spun around and different between these that's because these three are sucking air into the cabinet basically cooling the air and these are pulling air out of the cabinet basically heat rises so if you think about it, all the heat's gonna rise and these two fans are gonna suck it out so these right now are spinning in two directions this is pushing air out this is pulling air in. This is the cleanest of cleanest I could get. So check it out. If you ever needs to change a fan, I actually have the fans labeled. And right here's your main connection. He should never be touching this. I mean, you could touch it physically, but you'll never need to touch this. I have everything here. So everything has a basically a clip. And then on it is a white tag that has the number to the fan. So as you can see, this is fan three, fan five. So if you ever needs to take it out, you could basically just unclip it here. So big thing, I did use a lot of zip ties, not a lot, but there's mostly zip ties in this build. That's really the main way I want to do is in case he ever has to fix anything, he can just cut the zip tie and be over with it. These are screwed in. And again, the door is amazing. It's not heavy. I thought maybe the door wouldn't be able to hold it, but as you could see right now, it is holding all that. Now let's focus up on the main, the main cabinet. First thing you're gonna notice is the sound system. The sound system that he got in this is ridiculous. I think it's like 150 watts. It is loud. With that though, I mean, you do have a very big controller here. Um, there's not much I could do to hide it. This also has like a bass knob here. It also has auxiliary in. It also has an auxiliary input, headphone jack. It's got a nice white LED to show you that it's on. It's ridiculous. But with that, it came with a thick wire. So everything's always here. This is later on. I'll clean it up. We have the LED sensor and again, our sound. So as we go up top now, everything up top is devoted to literally sound. So this right here is the sound that was inside the subwoofer, a Logitech. I forgot the exact number. It was a 535 or something. We got the left and right speakers. These speakers were very unique. You'll see later on in the build. Basically, I had to put the plastic here you'll know why when you look at the video later on uh we do have the led controller up here again everything up here strictly sound so i do have everything coiled up here unfortunately like with this there's no way for me to cut this splice it it's too risky so basically we have everything coiled up it'll be a little bit neater before i send it out but that's honestly like as you can see there's so much wires 
that's like the most you could get out of it. Big thing is to make sure no wires are touching electronics and all that, so we don't have to worry about that. The left and right input wires here, I actually cut these. So these I always have to cut. Anytime I take apart speakers, the wires have to be cut. So luckily I took out all the wire. It was literally this. Look at that. So this is like your standard length of the wire. Cut it, because we don't need it. And basically very clean, all heat shrink tubing and all that. So left and right, speakers up top, all done. Now the big shocker, ladies and gentlemen, we have the entire PC right here. And I'm just mind blown by the clearance on everything I was able to do. I mean, you could literally see power supply fits underneath the screen. No issues as far as the graphics card. We even have the subwoofer. That's another thing with the sound. Subwoofer is down here against the wall. This way it really shakes the cabinet. I also have an arcade power button. So we have it wired up, everything nice and neat down here, right to the motherboard and the LED to the power button does work with the actual motherboard. So when the motherboard's off, the LED is off. So again, looking at the PC right here, you do have your power supply right here. You might, you might hear the fans. <laughs> you might hear the wind on the fans, so excuse that. But again, we got power supply here. All of the power like inputs, the wires are in the front of the cabinet. Um, on the right side here, we have a motherboard screwed down, nice and neat, that's not going anywhere. You're gonna see later on in the video, we actually made this whole cabinet vertical. Basically, it was on its side, no issues at all. Graphics card is the only thing that kind of fears me because it will shake in transit, but I'm trying to figure out how to stabilize it for transit. Um, worst case scenario, I might remove the graphics card and then Eugene will just put it in on his own. It's very easy to do, it's not that difficult. The biggest challenge, honestly, was the hard drives. We have three 10 terabyte hard drives. Look at this, I have to label one. But basically, my main idea was to have the hard drives going downwards, so the wires downwards. It was just so much of a hassle to get under here and kind of wire it up, so I kind of flipped it. I'll just flip these tags later on. But as you can see, if you ever needs to work on a drive, you could literally just pull it out very clean. So we have three here. I did have this little pocket here that I was gonna put the SSD in, but like these wires here, as you can see, like that go into SATA and all that. It was just, it's too tight. I didn't want to deal with it. I didn't want to risk bending a pin. So I literally just mounted the SSD here. Double-sided tape, super strong Gorilla tape. That's not going nowhere. And it's amazing. Uh, and it's so light. I'm not worried about it. But you're going to see later on in the build the custom brackets that I made. Basically out of a coat um, rack system from Home Depot. It's just so clean. Literally like the hard drives side screws we got enough gap to get your fingers in and if you ever need to change anything there's literally two wood screws this whole thing would come out but again the big shocker is just how amazing everything just fit like a puzzle again the only thing yes you do see a lot of wires but granted i mean it, listen it's a pc build 40 terabytes there's no way to have no wire so the big thing is to make sure that this thing doesn't move in transit and honestly it's it's not going nowhere. Like this thing is totally down packed. I'm just so proud of myself on this one because this is an insane build. And now seeing it inside the cabinet is just, it, it's just mind blowing. So now again, the big thing was like zip ties. So again, we have like these double-sided tape holders. You zip tie through it, really cool, very neat. But I didn't want to go too crazy. I was going to like do like every like four inches a zip tie. And I said, you know, God forbid, if we have to ever fix anything, you know how many zip ties you have to cut? It's, it's too much. I didn't want to deal with that. That's how I think of it. I always think about the future. So, you know, one or two zip ties, this is fine. Like, this ain't going nowhere. Also, it's just so perfect. Not, it's not going to move in transit. I'm not even worried about that. But the big shocker, again, as you can see, we have even all the inputs. Again, USB road here. So this is the only other thing I made. I might get another wire, but I'm not sure. This is the power wire to the PSU, the power supply. Very thick, huge. I mean, again, it's a standard PC power supply. Um, but again, I have it basically the wires all coiled here. But if you ever needed to grab a USB, he could just pull this one wire like out of it, pull it out and push it back in. It's not that big of a deal. But again, very, very amazed at this. Uh, so real quick, I'm gonna boot off the, the computer, but real, like I just moved it just to get the door on. It's heavy. I mean, this thing, I would, I would estimate it's gotta be at least, I would say 60 pounds. 
65 pounds. I mean, this thing is, is, is kind of heavy. Again, there's so much going on in this cabinet, but I just want to show you guys real quick the power off. So right now the computer's powering off the boot and there you go. Look at that. the boot and the shutdown on this is ridiculous. Fans are off PC off. That's it. The only LEDs that are on right now are the LED strips for like, you know, the marquee. I'm going to flip the cabinet around to show you guys under the control panel. So I'm going to leave it unplugged actually as I'm going to bring this down into mission control to play around with it and make more videos, but just check out the front of it. Again, this right here is where the marquee is going to go. So none of this is going to be visible. I'm not worried about it. It looks great. Again, everything very tightly down. Nothing is going to move in this. Um, look at that. Great clearance on that. Doesn't even touch the fan. Basically, real quick, we'll look at the control panel. So, again, no LEDs, non-LED buttons. Remember, Eugene has the control panel with LEDs. He wanted something different for this one. I like this route. Concave is like the, to me, is the main real way to play arcade games and all that. So, we have our four buttons on the side. We even have our pinball buttons here. So, there's one on the right. There's one on the left. I'm going to open up the control panel. And again, wires are wires, but this right here is the cleanest of cleanest I could get. Again, nothing interfering. And as you can see in the front, we have all the power supply inputs. Basically, I double, I mean, not double, I, I electrical taped in like the main power supply for the motherboard. And again, it routes around in and out. And luckily with the way this is that he could actually put his hand here and like pull wires out. You really don't have to take apart the whole bar top. As you could see, you could even hit like this screw here. The screws on each corner. So with the screwdriver, he'll be able to hit it. Um, but basically that is the power supply. That's all it is. He even has access here to some USBs. I should grab a flashlight, but I don't have one handy, but you have USBs right here. So literally putting your hand in, it's not that far. But again, amazing. It's perfect. You could even see like with the little crack on the control panel, crack meaning like the opening space, you kind of see actually the, the computer fan, the CPU fan. Again, doesn't interfere, doesn't rub. Uh, it's just, a, it's literally a work of art. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the 40 terabyte Shinko Hadouken is in its house. It's housed in. Final touches, last things before I send it out. I'll do the T-molding. I might actually do that real quick right now, at least just the sides. Um, as again, I'm gonna bring this downstairs with me to hang out with me and make some videos. Stay tuned as you're gonna see all the specific build parts as I did it piece by piece. You're gonna see like how the speaker setup was, how I did the door and all that. All right guys, real quick, figure I could show you guys the speaker setup. I forgot the number of this. I think it was like a Z537, the Logitech. Uh, this thing's beefier than what I usually deal with, which is the Z313s. Uh, check out this, the actual like speaker itself. It's got this gold plating to it. Um, the watts on this are insane. Um, but very surprisingly, it's very, it was much easier to disassemble than the Z313. So check it out again. This is really uh, cool. I'm recording this because I just want to show you uh, the reason why we have to, you know, do some modifications. But real quick, this is the speaker panel. And literally, I got it perfectly to sit. As you can see, this is the actual controller to it. Like this is where the subwoofer box was. Took out the whole thing screwed in nicely nothing punctured through even got the supports on it we got wooden dowels on it and again this speaker setup only uses these two boards whereas like the z313 has like three boards separated to it so it's perfectly fine it's pretty clean this goes into the pc part of it this is the aux wire left and right going to here um and again like i said this is clean and it's it ain't going nowhere like you could you could wrestle with this thing it's not going to go nowhere so uh a couple other things, like I said, you could even like disconnect stuff, not like the Z313, everything's hardwired in. So we got this, the subwoofer wires here that I'm still trying to figure out what to do with the subwoofer. This thing is massive. Uh, it's huge, very thick on this. So again, I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the subwoofer, but I wanted to make this video to show real quick um, the speakers, not the issues that I had in a bad way, but uh, basically I have to leave this black plate on. Cause as you can see, the speaker has like that little nub in the middle and I removed the black plate and I tried to rest the speaker on normally, like how I normally do. And this little nub actually was right against it. So that wouldn't really make 
to sound good. You could literally see it there that that nub actually goes over like the standard height of the speaker. So I have to keep this plate on. Basically, I'm gonna put it right there. I did cut this, but this is gonna be inwards by the marquee. So we don't have to worry about anybody cutting themselves. So basically, we're just gonna go one and two right here. Four screw points down. And then literally this whole top shelf is dedicated to just the speakers. Again, big beefy controller on this. Really nice. It just kind of stinks that this has a very long wire to it, but I'm okay with that. The big thing I'm doing for Eugene is that I have all this wire. This has to go into the actual speaker that you have to splice this. I'm gonna be getting rid of all of this. I don't want any excess wires on this build. So we're basically gonna go perfectly from here right to the wire. So this is gonna be very short. Again, quick update, the Logitech speakers are installed. Subwoofer is last. I'm not too sure yet what I wanna do with that yet, but at least we got the sound in. Okay guys, the moment has come that we are going to basically clear up this part of the desk. This is going into the bar top today. Um, I'm making this part of the video for me and Eugene. As Eugene just wants to know, you know, just in case anything ever has to change or anything, what everything is and where everything is. So uh, again, we have the motherboard here. We're gonna clean up all the wiring. We have our power supply right here, which is great. Very good power supply. And as you can see, we have a lot of connections here, SATA connections and all that, and a lot of open connections. So it's really cool. We're gonna have one of these going right into the fans to the door. I'm not gonna be doing fans through the motherboard. I don't want power within the motherboard to conflict with the fans because there is a lot of fans. So I'd rather not wire it to the board. With that though, the speed of the fans wouldn't like, you know, be able to change, but that's okay. Cause luckily he bought like quiet fans. So we don't have to worry about that. But again, let's just take a look at the motherboard real quick. Um, from what I believe and what I'm doing is that it's gonna be going in just like this. So this will be the right side. And again, on this side here, we have the four connections going to our hard drives. That's really all it is. Then you have just the power supply here going into the PSU. That's really all it is on this side. So again, so again, basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be tagging the wire as each, you know, this will be, this will basically tell me what drive letter is going to what, because the big thing is that I wanna keep it exactly how it is on this table. It has to go into the bar top. So I'm gonna map out each wire as far as what drive it is. And then I'll make a little schematic for me as far as, you know, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, which drive goes into what. You obviously have the graphics card here, really good stuff. And again, the big test is to make sure that I could at least bolt it. So as you can see, it is rocky right now, but the main thing is if I can, I'm gonna screw it into the bar top so this doesn't shake. Um, doing that, basically we have one, I have another hole here too. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna have to hit the bottoms. It just should be one and two. Uh, worst case scenario, I will pull the card out and then I'll make a video on, for Eugene on how to connect it. Cause this honestly is the only thing that's kind of freaking me out. But I think once I get a screw in it and keep it stable, it won't, it won't go anywhere. Then back here, we do have the RAM sticks. So he's got this basically maxed out at 32 gigs, eight, 16, 24, 32. So RAM sticks are here. I'm not too worried about it. Then the left side here is where we have all of our inputs. So the USBs and such. Then the back here, there's nothing going on here. So it's pretty easy, pretty basic. So again, the big thing is to just kind of figure out me labeling these wires, basically labeling the drives and then mounting the drives up. So we literally got all the wires disconnected. And as you can see, this is it standing alone. Simple wire, just two wires really. Look at the PSU and like the GPU wire. And this right here is gonna go into the bar top. So like I said, the only thing is the graphics card, that's something that, that kind of sketches me out. But as long as I can mount it, I'm not too worried about it. I figured I'd give you guys a quick update, check it out. So I got three of the external hard drives. These are the big ones. Um, I basically made a bracket on these. I used a like, um, it was a, a thing for a coat uh, rack. I can't find the original piece, but basically this will sit right on the back of the monitor mount. And then basically there's enough room clearance for you to pull plugs. And then it says the drive letter. So I'm planning to put the three here and then the graphics card should wind up here. Okay guys, we're on the big part right now. Uh, basically now 
uh, we're up to mounting it. So again, got everything unwired. And now that I look like kind of closely with the board, uh, real quick though on the bottom of it. So real quick with the bottom of it, I took the cardboard box and I basically just made a cutout. This way there's nothing underneath. Uh, I didn't do standoffs on it cause it's not really needed. So as you can see right now, this is kind of the guesstimate that we were at. Um, it's just when I kind of look at this, it doesn't really affect it. I might be leaving it right where it is right here. It's more about the, we have the control panel that goes here. Um, and I honestly have the control panel very cleanly wired, so I'm not worried about any wires getting in the way, but we do have the pin bolt button here. Um, but it's actually not in the way, so it should be a-okay. Okay, okay, so I got uh, four points. I got two screws here, not really close to any metal here, sticking up like pin-wise. And I got a bunch of these um, spacers going on. So I got one underneath and then two up top, just to make sure that the metal doesn't go through. I got two very low profile screws here. And then I'm gonna finish off with just two more, uh, half inch right here and here, just to make sure it's stable. Uh, right now it is stable, I'll be honest, like you're not, this isn't going anywhere, which is a great sign. Um, I might not put these half inches, but right now we are very stable. As you can see, again, just the graphics card is my main worry, but right now, this ain't going nowhere. Just real quick, an overview for Eugene. Now that we have no wires, we can understand what's going on here. So there is a pin here that goes into the power supply. And then there's a big pin here that also goes into the power supply. We have our RAM sticks here. Right here is gonna be our four SATA cables that are gonna go up to the hard drives. And then right here is gonna be basically a four or three pin power going up the cab to the top for the button. Uh, and I'm hoping that the LED power also can power on this LED button for you. So I'm hoping that's it. And honestly, that's really all it is. On the side here, we have our USBs. So I will have um, the Xbox dongle already in and I'll have also the keyboard in. I'll probably put that way over here. And either way you open up the cabinet, you'll be able to access it. Cause again, your hand will be able to reach here. Uh, last thing getting power really is gonna be the graphics card. So there's gonna be a wire going into the power supply as well. Um, and that's really it. Again, this right here is mounted and ready to go. So next up, we got the power supply. And again, we're gonna fix up the spaghetti, but basically, right according to our calculations, that's where it will end up just like that. So we have power that will go into the power brick here. Um, we have our switch here as really you will never really need to get here. But again, with the cabinet open, you'll be able to go underneath the control panel. And again, the big thing is um, you did send me some wires that might be shorter, um, but basically the objective is to keep this clean and then go to where it has to go. The only challenge I face with this power supply now is, again, I'm, I'm doing it in a way to future proof it in case you ever have to work on it without taking apart uh, the cabinet, which isn't difficult, but I kind of you know want it where you don't have to take apart the cabinet. Um, these are easy. As you can see, there's four or five screws here. This here, I was gonna make a bracket that kind of goes up and then into it. But I think honestly, the easiest thing for this is just gonna be some double-edged tape, uh, some very strong gorilla type tape where we'll do the bottom and we'll do the side wall here. Uh, this way, in case you ever have to move it, you can move it. Um, that's really all I would probably do with this. Uh, and then like I said, the next thing up is gonna be our, um, our subwoofer to figure out where we could put that. Okay guys, so again, top angle right now. This is like the main moment. I didn't really record too much on this because when I get in the zone, I, 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 can't, I can't lose focus. So right now, this is the biggest part of this build is the, bat, the bottom piece now is ready. Uh, basically what I did is I took off the graphics card. Definitely 100% number one. I took off the graphics card because I it's too flimsy. I don't want it to break or anything. But I'll leave the camera on and we'll get ready. Uh, I'll flip the cabinet and I'll tell you some secrets. We'll look at the audio stuff and I'll show you what I did with the power. Uh, YouTube University and you learn a lot on YouTube. I found out finally an easy way to like nicely mount these outlets, the power strips, um, using a piece of paper. So that's cool. But right now I'll leave the camera on. We're gonna get ready to mount the bottom plate, which right now only really has the um, actual motherboard connected to it. Okay, we are in. Again, motherboard is completely vertical. No graphics card, nothing connected to it. Let's grab a couple cam locks. 
and let's get ready to seal the deal. Very excited. Now that I literally could see the motherboard vertical, not going nowhere. We could even see the clearance as far as the monitor. This is perfect. All right, guys, check it out. We got the bar top down. I'm, I don't know if you could see it. I'm pretty sure you can, but check this out. Look at, look at this gap right here. Oh, it's perfect clearance. Amazing. That's just, that's just planning. Done right. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Check out the wiring while I get the last few cam locks in. Again, I'm even mind blown by this. Can't believe it. Even the, the, the Logitech speakers, the way that was set up, so much easier than my Z313s. I'm very, very proud of myself on this one because it's literally just clean as clean can be. We got the pinball buttons on the side. We got everything. This right here, now I'm just gonna do the LEDs. Last thing on the build, final touches, is um, T-molding. I don't do that till late, till last. So I'll bring the camera down, bring you down, and again, we're just gonna clean up a little bit of the wiring. I still have to wire the pinball buttons and stuff, but this is looking perfect right now. Very happy with this so far. Okay guys, we got it down. I figured I'm gonna show you this real quick because again, I'm just cleaning up a little bit, but this is what's awesome. So the best thing about it is that you could access the main screws to get to the motherboard. Uh, but again, seeing a vertical, I am not worried about this in transit. The only thing I am worried about was the graphics card. But real quick, just to show you, again, there's two slots here for graphics cards. We're gonna go for the one on the top as it's the main one. I figure we'll leave the camera running. So again, two hands on this, look down, and there you go. It literally just clicks into place. And if you ever needs to fix it, there is enough space here to grab your hand even behind it and basically push the tab and eject that card. So this definitely, Eugene buddy, I'm gonna be sending you the graphics card separate. Look at that, that is beautiful. We have enough room for the power to get here. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. The 40 terabyte is literally about halfway in. Hard drives up top going in soon. This right now, check out like the audio. Again, the only big thing, the last thing is gonna be the power supply and the subwoofer. But right now, very happy with the turnout. Again, just taking the time now to clean up everything. I want everything to be clean, looking good, and all that. And then we're gonna get a lot of videos. Check out real quick. Oh, you guys didn't see it, but check out our button layout that we did for them. We went with the mix match. Love it, I think it's awesome. Look at the pinball button. The only thing I don't like that Gaming Solutions sells are these cheap, like you see how worn out that player one is and player two, but no worries, buddy. From an actual Tekken two cabinet, I got some real buttons, player one and player two. These won't rub off, look at that. So luckily this has been testing. I'm gonna swap that out for you, buddy. No LED buttons, but again, we still do have LEDs going on, so we have the strip. And I also put it obviously underneath and on the control board. And this is amazing so far. Great progress today on the 40 terabyte beast. Look at the Ken side. Oh, I can't wait to see the Ryu side. So far, so good. The only thing again we have to missing is that uh, Gimum Solutions sent me hopefully the new bat tops. These are supposed to be bat style. I have these as spares and we're gonna fix that up. Okay guys, so I figure I'm gonna record this live. We got it plugged in. I don't have the PC plugged in yet, but again, we're gonna clean up a little bit of the wiring, but you could just see the level of wiring on this. Just on the top here, I have all of the speaker wire. Like this has a very thick wire because this is really meant to go like down to your, to your floor, but just real quick speakers. I got an SSD up here. Check out how we mounted the hard drives. So again, three 10 terabytes. I originally was gonna point them downwards, which is why this is upside down, but I'll just you know redo it. But then I figured to make it easier, we have a pointing up. So look at that. We got one, two, three, 10 terabytes. We clear the graphics card. I have these up in the air higher for that in case he ever has to change the graphics card. But again, I'm gonna be possibly most likely sending it to him without the graphic cards in it. You know, he does have enough space and clearance to put the graphics card in. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get this live as we get ready to basically power on the PC. I'm gonna plug it in here, but I do have the PC off. 
just gonna grab my phone. I don't have the door connected to it, but I definitely wanna record this. Okay, just in case I have my fire extinguisher handy. <laughs> I don't think anything's gonna happen, but here we go. Let's just put it on. So, so far so good. It didn't boot on. We just gave basically power to the power supply. I should actually leave this up this way we could see it. But you could also see here the power supply. We got our motherboard. And again, we're gonna wire up the button. Before. So what we're gonna do right now is that I don't have the button wired up, but we're gonna kind of do it the other way, which is basically connect these two pins. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a boot. Take a look at our screen. Again, I already had the ASUS powered on. Oh, we got some life. We do have life. This is a good sign. Look at that. Let's take a look. Power supply, graphics card spinning, hard drives in. We even have power to our sound system. Yes, we booted. <laughs> yes, that is a great sign. We're gonna test this out. I'm gonna shut it down real quick and do one more quick test, strain us out. And the last thing I wanna end with with this video is the door on the cabinet. All right, guys, we have it up right now. Street Fighter V, beautiful machine. You could, again, one-handed Adukens. I did it good on my Instagram. There you go. Again, playing this on Ultra. I mean, you could, me personally, you do see, it's definitely very much high tuned compared to the Dell Optiplex playing on high graphic settings. Also a quick note, the sound system that Eugene got on this is ridiculous. 150 watts. And that's not with the subwoofer connected yet. That's gonna be last, as that's gonna be my ultimate challenge is to now figure out where I could put the subwoofer. But this right here, is a beautiful machine. I will then now work on the door, basically for the fans, but check it out again. The 40 terabyte beast. Okay guys, quick update. I got the door on, beautiful. Uh, again, gotta clean up everything, but uh, just real quick update. We got the power button wired in. So again, the final step when I make sure everything works is that we're gonna basically tidy up all the wires, make sure that they're nice, neat, right against zip ties and such. So got power button all wired up. I even got the LED to work. So here's our power switch here. So it's power, two wires for power, two wires for LED. So that works, we're all good. Just put the door on and it came with these, I forgot the name of the, the connector on this, but this is going right to the power supply. Luckily it's long enough. And as you can see, I have everything here. So if you ever has to change out anything, I have everything numbered. And then here's really the main connection that he would change. And on the tag, on this white tag, I literally numbered the fan. So one and two are pushing air out and then three, four and five are bringing air in. I'm literally gonna power this thing on and test it. As far as the top, again, this, um. This volume switch is huge. It's it's not huge in a bad way. It's just like the wire is very thick. So basically when I get to it, I'm gonna basically kind of zip tie it against there. Also with our LED wire. And basically I just cut out a notch on the door. So for right now, I'm gonna close the door. Uh, I can't really close it right now because I need two hands and I don't wanna mess up the wires, but I wanna test to make sure that these fans turn on. Also real quick, the last thing I did was that I did put the subwoofer in. That was like, not a pain, it was just very difficult to figure out where that thing could go. I found the perfect spot and it's literally perfect. It's elevated off the wall and it sounds amazing. So again, this sound system is ridiculous. So basically full sound is ready. And again, I literally um, heat shrunk our wire. It goes across, it's gonna come down. Again, wiring is gonna be kneaded up a little bit. Very difficult, you know, with all these wires in it. But as of right now, I'm gonna at least try to get the door closed. So I got the door closed, hinged in, it's got the little catch here. So this is great. Again, as you could see, 
uh, basically once I kind of fix it up, that notch though is a must. Doesn't look that bad, it's actually very clean. Again, that is the rear, basically before, I never tested the power, so we're gonna do it now, but before I do it, I'm just gonna make sure that these fans basically spin. Again, I know that they won't later on, it's just right now, at least to test, I just wanna make sure that they do kind of spin, no wires getting caught. So right now, literally gonna take the plug. So we got LED strip obviously works. Big moment of truth right here. Woo! <laughs> there it is. We have all five fans spinning and I can feel the, the wind on this. So the air is coming out of this and then air is going in on that. Wow, look at that. Five fans, unbelievable. And again, we do have the grills. He got mesh grills to cover these. It looks pretty badass, honestly, like that. So, but we will put the mesh grills. But so far, so good. Shinko Hadouken 40 terabyte. Oh, it's beautiful. So I just turned off the LEDs that were on the actual bar top, like the marquee. And again, he just bought regular, they are white LEDs. And just real quick, wanted to show you guys the power button to the PC. So the LED turns on with the PC. So also real great is that if he wants to shut down, it's a simple button press. And basically the PC is gonna shut off. And as you can see, the LED is off. Fans are off as they come to a slow stop. Boom.